Hey guys, I'm sure you're wondering what is going on here. But guys, have you ever wondered what it feels like to be a taster? <laughs> well, I'm about to show you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is exactly what is going on here, right here. And you know what? I'm sure you probably have walked down the mall sometimes and then you see some of your favorite snack or some of your favorite food items all stock up in different brands and you're wondering what do they all taste like you probably have tasted them one after the other but have you ever had them together all at once <laughs> this was a crazy idea in my head walking down the mall and i was just thinking let's do this so i'm going to try this out with cornflakes i'm sure you know what cornflakes is right but this time i'm going to taste all brands at once i'm sure there are more brands but hey these are the brands i was able to get and i'm going to tell you about the brands in just a little bit guys stay right here welcome to my channel and let's get this on welcome to my youtube channel 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alesha Miyosoro and from the introduction, you already know what's about to go down on my YouTube channel today. Yeah, <laughs> Guys, I'll be tasting different brands of cornflakes and yeah, in case you're new to my channel, my name is Alesha Miyosoro and my channel is about lifestyle, fun, entertainment, reviews, everything in my head and everything I find interesting. So yeah, thank you for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe before you go. So I'm just going to get straight into the business of today. No time wasting at all because ah, a girl has to eat. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm sure you've always wondered how do all these brands taste or why do you even choose one brand over the other? Yeah, so I'm going to try, I'm just going to try and reevaluate re why I chose a particular brand over the other when it comes to my conflicts choice. And as you can see, I have different brands here. I have Kellogg's mm -hmm, right here. And this is one brand that a lot of people, you know, when you say international brand, yeah, it is Kellogg's. I remember one time I used to cry to my mom to ensure that she buys me Kellogg's instead of the normal conflicts we have or the made in Nigerian conflicts that we have. And yeah, I think I got Kellogg's for a couple of times while I was in uni. Yeah, whenever I'm getting my food stock or when I, whenever I'm getting my food stock from home. So yeah, we have Kellogg's here, although the, um, uh, the minimal pack or the affordable pack. Yeah, so we're going to try this out. And this is Nasco. A lot of people would definitely gravitate towards NASCO because, I mean, most of you had this when you were younger, yeah. It's been on for a very long time, took it to primary school, secondary school, before the old Kellogg's thing started entering our eyes, you know what I mean? So yeah, NASCO is definitely a lot of household favorites and it used to be one of my favorites also. And this one I found really strange because this particular brand, Fun Snacks, I know them to produce cheese balls. And in case you're wondering what I mean, this is what I mean. So this is exactly what I know them to produce. Fun Snacks, cheese ball. And then I found this at the mall and I'm wondering what is going on here? Do they think we are joking? But anyway, I'm going to give them benefit of a doubt and we're going to try this together. There are two other brands I couldn't lay my hands on. I don't know if it's the pandemic or whatever. I know there is Infinity, you can see it on your screen, and I know there's Good Morning. And yeah, Good Morning also used to be like a rival for this one when it comes to the Made in Nigerian brand. Infinity is pretty, pretty, pretty new. Not, you know, some years back they joined the gang, or joined the competition. So I'm just gonna get into it. I don't know which one I should go with first. Okay, so because this is totally new, I mean, I'm seeing it for the very first time. I'm just gonna go with this one first. I've got milk, I've got sugar, and I've got water right here. Okay, guys, did you see what I was talking about? It has the same look as <laughs> cheese balls. <laughs> this is funny, but I think I like the packaging. <laughs> If you have seen this before, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've tried it and let me know what you think about it even as I tried it in comparison with other brands. And then also let me know which is your favorite, okay? So I also have plates here, three different plates so that I don't have to waste so much time on this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I like it. Very crunchy. 
Well, did this. Well, I'm a bit too forward. I'll just wait. Hmm. It has a particular kind of smell. You know when you just painted house? That's what I'm smelling right now. <laughs> okay, so this is Nasco. Mm. Yeah, Nasco always has that look. I mean, that dry look. This one is smelling like like um, peanuts. Yeah, that kind. I think that's the kind of smell I have. I have. And the final one oh, is Kellogg's. What's this? <laughs> Green everywhere. Oh, wow. So I have Kellogg's. <laughs> Kellogg's just always has one taste like that that, it, that busts my head. <laughs> but let's do this. I don't know what this men finish all the milk so I'm just gonna put the same quantity of milk since we don't have so much I did not know they finished the milk in this house I would have got some when we went to the mall but so good favorite milk of course I mean since when I was like this so guys I'm just going to use um, one cube of sugar in each And uh, where should we start from? So remember, this is snacks, fun snacks. This is Nasco, and this is Kellogg. They definitely have different look. This is dark, feels burnt. This one is a bit lighter, but this is like the lighter shade we've got here. Ah, she's smelling that house paint. So I said I was gonna start with fun snacks. Ah, it's me that will clean this place up. Hmm. So guys, pray for me. I hope my stomach does not give me <laughs> something. Gonna be something different uh, after this. Okay, so we got this, and this is actually like warm, like room temperature. Okay, not cold, uh, not too hot, just normal room temperature. So let's do this, shall we? So is this funny taste then? See that? thing that I talked about. <coughs> ah, wait first. Ah. Mm. But one thing I like is maintains its crunchiness, but it tastes. Mm. I don't know. I'm coming back to it. Then Nasco. Of course, a lot of people know what Nasco tastes like, right? And the funny thing is, it's been a long time I had any of these things, so it's more like I'm refreshing my memory. I'm like a, I'm like a, um, a non-pire right now that's got nothing. <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing to lie about. Okay, so. Right here, right here, right here. Let's dig into it. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is. I miss that this. Mm. Ah. No way you say food gasm. That's what I'm feeling right now. Mm. <laughs> Let me just go to the last one. So I don't waste time. I mean, you already know Nasco is very crunchy. It has a very unique taste, and then, I mean, the taste. What I tasted before 
when I added raw was a bit dry, but now that I tasted it with um, half milk and sugar, I mean, it's a lot better. And the uniqueness is just, I mean, right there. So to our international family member, that is um, Kellogg's. Lesson. And the truth is, I actually thought that buying them in this economic size is going to take away from you know what you know with the usual pack like this type. But funny enough, Nasco really tastes the same regardless. So yeah, I think I like that. I like that. I mean, because you're giving us an economic pack doesn't mean that it should take away the feeling we would have if we're taking the usual pack. Okay, so Kellogg's is ready. Mm. Mm -mm. Why does it not taste like the Kellogg's I know? What is going on here? When I had it raw, I could tell it was Kellogg's. I mean, I had Kellogg's for many years. But now, in water, the crunchiness is not even there. And it does not even... I mean, this one in economic size retained its taste. But this one, I'm feeling like we have something totally different here. Different from the original Kellogg's I know. I don't know if that's the case, but it's just me thinking. But I'm not feeling it. Maybe Kellogg's has changed. Mm. Back to this guy here. So this one, yeah, it was crunchy, but the taste tastes really funny. And I don't think I like the look compared to what we have here. And I'm going to, this one has I think I can compare it with another brand of Conflict and that's Good Morning. They seem to have the same look and the same feel because I think I can still remember what Good Morning tastes like and they have that ability to dissolve in water like very fast, you know, that kind of thing. That's what I'm currently feeling with this one. But trust me, trust me when I say that. What I'm, the only one I'm feeling right now, right here, I don't know if it's because I'm on the spot, but the only one I'm feeling right now is not cool. Even now that it's soft, it's still tasty. And it can bear me witness I use the same quantity of milk for everything. So it's not the milk, it's not the sugar, the same quantity of sugar, the same quantity of water. I don't know what's going on. This right here is my favorite. Like, yeah, this is my favorite. So all of this. Nah, I don't know. I wish I'd got more brands, like the two other brands. I talked about Infinity and Good Morning. I wish I had all, all of that uh, right here too. Maybe it would have been a better way to judge, but I mean, three brands is enough to check out what is going on. So, and I think one is winning the day for me and that is Nasco. So yeah, this is what I'm going with. So guys, let me know what brand you would definitely go for every time you walk into the mall and see different kinds or different brands of conflicts lying right there on the aisle. Let me know which one you will ordinarily choose from the list. Thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah, you already know which one won. <laughs> I'm not a foodie, but just that sometimes I like to just try out new things and crazy stuff when it comes to feeding or food as the case may be. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and tell me if you would want to try this out. Maybe I will try this out with something different soon, okay? I don't know what is going to be next, but remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to know what is going to be or when it is going to be. But in the meantime, it's a wrap for the food taster. I'm officially your food taster. <laughs> remember to comment and let me know which of the brand is your favorite or which of the brand you usually would have every time, anytime. My name is Elisha Muyasarilu. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching this video.